Oh my gosh. At least I'm having filming issues today. Hey guys, so I wanted to share with you um, these Mega Slicks by Wet n Wild, the lip balms. If you watched my current favorites video, you know what I, well, I showed you one of them. So I just wanted to share with you guys kind of a review and swatches today. So I have four of them. And, let's roll it back down. Um, currently, I am actually wearing three of them. I am wearing, um, I put on this 125 Ready or Not. Which is that one? Go. It's that, and it looks like that. Just a red. I actually bought this one for my wedding, but then it was too, um, it wasn't exactly as red as I wanted it to be because it looks, it's this top color right here. This one. So it's not very as red, not very as red. It's not as red as I wanted it to be. So then I put on, um, even on my wedding, I put on the 126 Rico Mauve which looks like that, which I actually use this one all the time by itself. And it is this one right here, this third one down. Yep, and that's what I wore for my wedding. And then today, on top of those, I put 129 um, Nudist Colony, which, ooh, I didn't move that one up. Looks like that, there might be, you can see a little bit of pink on it, but it is just a nude color, and it is this second one right here yeah just a nude color just kind of toned it down a little bit made it a little bit more pink than um, like a red or anything and then this third one that I have is 124 Lady and the Vamp and it looks like this it's just a dark well, it looks, all of them look a lot darker than I thought they were going because I bought that one and it was too dark. Like, it's really dark purple on my lips. It's this bottom one. This one down here. Um, and it was too dark, so I bought the Rico Mob, and that one was not as, um, <clears throat> as dark as I wanted it to be. So, you know. But I like them a lot because they're really smooth going on. They feel really nice. They feel smooth like a chapstick or a lip balm. They, um... You know, don't dry out your lips, they make them feel nice, and then once they are, you know, kind of dry, they don't wear off because it is a stain. Which is awesome because, you know, being in an A, you don't really get time to even go to the bathroom sometimes. So, it's nice to actually be able to have something that I don't have to reapply. And you even have busy days, and I don't really like bringing a bunch of makeup with me because a lot of the time I will forget it in my purse. And I'll lose it in my purse, that's not a really big deal because you've seen everybody was in my purse. It's like, lipstick, lipstick, lip, you know. And... But I had makeup like forget forgotten and melted and stuff, and I just, I just don't really like to bring makeup with me. But balm stains I do because you can even just once it's dried, you can just put like a chapstick or your own kind of lip balm on there, whatever you want, and you know it'll just look nice again. It'll be a little bit lighter than when it was freshly put on, obviously. But and then you can even change the color up if you wanted to. So. I think they're awesome, and I even bought my mom one the other day, I can't remember what hers was called, but I'll find it and link it below for you. It's kind of just a light frosty pink color, because she likes, she goes more so for nudes and pinks, but um, like this nudist colony one, since it's so light, I mean you can just see it in reflection, maybe. is it too far away? No. But you can see the differences, but it's it's a really light color for by itself, so I don't really ever wear it by itself. Um, so I told her not to get that one, but then we got her the other one because was, she just is a nude and light pink person for her lips and her skin tone and her hair color and everything. So, but yeah, I actually, you know, wore these two for my wedding and the um, red one and the mauve one. And I liked it a lot. It stained my lips in a good way because I knew I was going to be, you know, taking pictures of me kissing Zach and stuff. And I didn't want him getting all of my lipstick all over him. And, you know, so it worked. It lasted. Um, like just the balm part lasted until, you know, we got up there and then I actually, I don't think I did that, but you can actually like, you know, do the blotting on the tissue thing and make it lesser of a color if you want to, but I really like it. I really like how you can build it and you can play with it. And they're only like 98 cents generally, 98 cents to like two bucks at Walgreens, just depending on what sales they're having. So two bucks for balm stain is not bad. And... Yeah, it's going to die now. So, all right. I hope you guys like this video and I will talk to you later.